Hi guys, welcome to this um, experimental system. It's an older computer system. It's actually quite good to test out the NVIDIA settings and all that. The topic of the video is a video for the beta testers and um, it will become our future Arconix desktop treasure. That's the topic of the video. A-D-T. So, we launch it this way. Um, by doing so, we can have a look at what's going on in the code. And then we take another, well, workspace or window, whatever you want to call it, and we do exactly the same thing. Control Alt T and Atlix Tweet Tool. That's what we, that is very well known for Atlix. So the tool installs now also the cute fish the latest desktop on our systems and it's like the story of karate kid right wax on wax off wax on wax off the idea is that you first decide what kind of desktop you want to take and then download the article B iso because that will be fine-tuned and it will be super perfect just for that desktop and you can still combine later on with a tiling window manager or something like that Okay, what has changed? Well, first to show you the desktop treasure, I'll just do the wax on, right? Awesome, installed. And then we, during, if you open it like this, you don't have to, right? But for the beta testers, they should. So they have a look, okay, this is gonna happen to my system. Always good to know what's going on to your system. That's why we say, if you update, do it please like this, right? follow what's happening to my machine what packages are put on my machine do i trust these packages and so on awesome bspw boom installed um cinema boom installed what else dwm install this is fun right this is ultimately super fun you don't know what packages you want to you have to type in but click boom done so later on you want to remove things again so this is the wax on we move to the other screen and this is the wax off so refreshing the current desktops i have all these desktops on my machine deciding not to use awesome but first the change and why the change is there this desktop treasure tool is written on my ISO builder. An ISO builder is of course a very essential machine here. It builds the ISOs. It's a lot of extra scripts and handling and setup and all that. It's a few hours to have a new system up and running the way you want it. So by accident, you hear me coming? By accident, I had removed the .config. Now, is that a problem? What? Yes and no look at all the backups right every single time you add a desktop it says dot config at att art links tweet tool from that particular date and hour and so on the same goes for the treasure it's just a different name config treasure so everything can be put back but nevertheless it's scary when that happens on your real machine right your machine that you work on all the time so I needed an option to tell the system, keep away from my .config. Do not remove the current content of this tilt means home directory, in my case, home Eric, slash .config. It's on, it's true. So do not remove it. Great. User will remove any unwanted files and folders manually. What happened to my system is I've installed Arco DWM. I've installed Awesome. I've installed BSPWM. I've installed Cutefish. But then I'm playing around, right? I'm gonna change this setting, gonna change that setting, etc. etc. Maybe you've been playing around with code. And the thing is, you need code for tiling window managers, for example. If there is no awesome in here in the dot config awesome can't do anything well some of them give you 
black screen, right? Oh, beautiful black screen. But basically, you need the code. All right. So let's have a look. What happens now? Do not remove the current config. Yes, please. Keep away, keep away from my dot config. Okay. Awesome. Out. Trash. What's going to happen? It's going to remove all the packages from awesome. Fishes and all that. But it's up to you to clean it up yourself. Awesome is still there. PSPWM is still there. If I install OpenBox, it will be installed. It will be there. OpenBox, install another folder in my system right open box so unless i deliberately say go and trash everything from my system because and that may be possible 22 sorry 23 desktops in one system never a good idea but it's fun it's very experimental it's not it's not for a real metal machine in the sense that hey, a, a machine where you work on so <laughs> If, remember, awesome, open box, BSPWM, if I keep away from my .config, refresh, I trash my BSPWM, refresh, I trash my cinnamon, I trash my cute fish, I trash my DWM. These are normally, eh? if their packages similar, used in one desktop as also in the other one. Yeah, if if you just removed it with one, it's still gone, right? So that's it's a normal thing. And let's refresh. What do we have still? I still have open box. Okay, you can go as well. Trash. So that's gone. Oops, I, I forgot to just keep one more because I wanted to explain you what this thing does, right? In the meantime, nothing has changed. Open box is untouched here, BSP volume, awesome. It's all unchanged. So I'm just gonna quickly wax on again, maybe with something else. Qtile install. Qtile is installed. Again, what do we get? Qtile. And we keep on adding things to our dot config which might interact with each other and then of course you have to be smart about these things that's why we say add a clicks be isos once you've settled with a um, desktop so what will happen if i don't say this do not remove the current content now i say please remove the dot config and it will create a new etc skeleton so it will be overwritten. If you change something to Qtile, it will be overwritten. If you change something to Awesome, it will be overwritten. Anything that's still in the ETC scale, basically, right? Uh, at this point in time, there's not much in ETC scale. But everything that's in here, we need from time to time, for instance, for um, systems that require code and, and configuration code. At this point in time, the only thing in here is Qtile. We've cleaned everything up. Open box, awesome. It's no longer there, but it's still here, right? The etc scale only contains Qtile, but this is now polluted, let's say, with, let's select them. That one, that one, open box, and Qtile is the last one, and so on, right? When I do this one now, say okay you can override and well first of all remove the config and then override because otherwise my qtile will not work and i say xfce i can't let's refresh let's see ah there he is so qtile let's trash this guy you see all these things coming along but this time around Oops. This time around, forgot to do the dash that the, the widget there, the switch, add switch, refresh, Qtile, gone. Yeah, it's always activated again. Eh? Just to be sure, oh my god, let's not forget to eh? 
otherwise it's always going to be removing the dot config and that's sometimes really heart attack like so now we can remove i've done deliberately i've deliberately thought about it and i can remove the dot config and he can copy paste the code from the whatever still left from the etc scale trash what happens is this they're all gone awesome is gone also all gone all gone all gone all gone futile it's all gone the only thing relevant now is xfc4 and that's still there so that's the point making this one was oh so needed for me and i hope you can enjoy that one as well so i don't i'll keep it on most of the time in the sense that i don't want him to touch my dot config i'll delete a folder a file whenever i feel i feel like it okay enjoy